the best bachelor party ever been. Of you course. Been he likes the parties. Shut the up. Ah, the Georgie. Shut the up. Oh, we waste no time. We waste no time. Oh my goodness gracious me. We've already got a argument happening. I mean, to be honest with you, in this situation here, Michael is definitely in the wrong because he's the one that's instigating an argument that doesn't need to be said. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, all Georgie says is, oh, I know Georgie was obviously being sarcastic by saying this is the best bachelor part I've ever been to, right? Because it's, it's, it's not good for the sliders. So obviously Michael decides to chime in and say his own little two piece, which he doesn't really need to say whatsoever. And then also on top of that, he also says it with such a smug look on his face as well, which again, isn't needed to the slightest. So of course, in natural form, Georgia being Georgia, he's now reacted. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, the way I see it, if I'm Michael, if I'm going to start something, I better be ready to handle the backlash. Excuse me, Georgia. Wow. You make me upset. Nah, Georgia, 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 Georgia. Enough, Georgia. Please, no. Stop it. Everybody. Yeah. It's just crazy though, because to be fair, I do generally kind of, I mean, a part of me wants to feel for Georgie, but at the same time, I don't because he shouldn't be here. But at the same time, Michael's the one that has provoked him. Michael's even got to smirk his life. He's gone, ah! he's really trying to antagonize him, right? But obviously you can hear Florence and Florence and Georgie, Georgie, please, 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 please. And I understand Florence's down the point of view. He's bought Georgie. He's promised that Georgie's going to behave. But at the same time, you got Michael who's trying to push the buttons time and time again. It's a very challenging one. It is a very challenging one. But um, to be honest with you, I think if I was in that situation and I was Georgie, I would 100% ignore Michael. I wouldn't even give him the satisfaction of a reaction because Michael wants a reaction to prove a point that Georgie is trash. That's his whole agenda. But boy, mm -mm -mm. everybody, everybody start talking down like I'm upset. I was cool. The fact that he's got his head. He's covering his face. I mean, obviously Darcy's like, oh, shiz. It's all about to go down. But Michael, as you can see, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing with his Smurf hair looking hairstyle. You know what I'm saying? But, um, no, is it Smurf? No, no, no. Is it Gnomes? No, it's Gnomes. Smurf. Oh. Trolls. Yes, the trolls are the ones with the blue hair, right? That is the one. But, um, obviously now Georgie's obviously, you know, uh, definitely got upset. Georgie stands up. He leaves the situation, which is good. He left to cool himself down floor and follows him, which makes a lot of sense, right? Um, but boy, at the end of the day, though, Georgie literally played into Michael's hands, which is why I don't necessarily feel sorry for him. Because to be honest, if I was in that situation, I wouldn't play it. I wouldn't fall into his hands. I wouldn't play into his hands. I would not be giving Michael the satisfaction that he's looking for. And boy, 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 did Georgie do that. But listen to me when I tell you that was just the beginning. Yeah, I'm on the bus. You're, you're like, holding me down like yes, I'm a strong, powerful woman. And don't touch me like that. It's no about Don't do that. All right, cool. So there was a series of events here where you see Florin put his hands on Stacey. Obviously, he's not putting them in a malicious, violent way, but, it, but he's definitely put them in a uh, you better calm yourself down type stuff, which is something that shouldn't be happening. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, during an argument, a disagreement, a conflict, the only type of, the only the only type of touching you should be trying to do is a cuddle. Okay, that's about it. But uh, trying to touch someone to literally press them down, that ain't it, because it's only going to lead to something even worse. Now, of course, when it comes to, um, Lauren. Every fun had limit. You can't talk to her like this. I know you guys have your things right now, but right now, this is, this yeah. is like a time like, of happiness. I grew up, I grew up, I grew up with a tough love. You know, just because you grew up with tough love, it doesn't mean that she put on other people. But the fact is, though, right? You grew up with parents giving you tough love, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're supposed to end up giving your wife physical tough love. You know what I mean? Now, obviously, when it comes to the situation, say he's upset with the fact that Florin is not allowing her to have any fun on this bachelorette party. He wasn't allowed. He wasn't allowed to get to get on the stripper pole to you know to do a little dang, 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 dang. He really, he literally won't let her breathe in a nutshell, which is obviously something that is extremely controlling. So I understand obviously Stacey being upset, but at the same time though, you've been with this man for how long, and you can't tell me that you're now starting to suss out that this man is controlling, or at least suss out that this man lives with a different type of mentality because of his own. Well, let's just say. I did too. Listen, I respect I your culture. I went I to Albania. I know, I know, I know, I know. Culture, I know, I know. Listen, you have to understand. We don't talk to women like this. You're not supposed to touch a woman with a feather. So let's talk about culture. I am literally sick and tired of culture, you know, because we see this time and time again on Night Day Fiance. And we see on other TV shows that we cover on this channel, right? 
And the way I see it is very simple. If I'm going to be, a, if I've grew up in a certain culture, but I'm going to now marry someone or date someone or be with someone from a different culture, I cannot expect myself to bring in my culture into that person's life, nor can I expect them to bring their culture into my life. Why? Because you see, if I've connected with that person, it means that we are both ready to not necessarily ditch our culture, but we are both ready to compromise on our culture. We're, we're both ready to put our cultures together to make the perfect balance. Because at the end of the day, if we keep using this excuse of, yeah, but this is how it's done in their culture. Yeah, but this is how they've done in, in, in where they come from. Well, okay, if that's the way you want to go about it, how about this? Don't be with someone who's from that culture. Be with someone that's going to be more on your level. I mean, honestly, like, it's like, it's not rocket science. Like, you know, if you want to respect someone's culture, don't be with that person if you're going to they, conflict with their culture, right? You see what I'm saying? And that goes to both of them, point blank, period. Ah, this stuff is jarring. You don't need to protect. You don't, know don't be like this. You don't need face. to protect this too. All right. Don't be like this in my face. You don't need to protect. Listen. First and foremost, Michael shouldn't be getting that close into into George's face. No man, maybe maybe even a woman, you no know, wants to be uh, wants someone who they don't like to be coming up in their face like that. To be fair, to be, if you ask me, it looks like Michael was probably under the influence of alcohol too, because the way his eyes were like just like, hey man. Don't, 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 don't do this, man. Don't do this, man. <laughs> now, the build up to this situation here is that um, Georgie left. He came back in the room. When he came back in the room, he saw Michael and Darcy talking about Darcy's date that she had last week. And Darcy's talking about how his date's this, how is that, and whatnot. So, therefore, she's praising, obviously, you know, who this guy is. Georgie walks in. He's not that really happy hearing about another guy wanting to take Darcy away from him because that's how he sees it. Because for him, Darcy is still his own property mm -hmm. so of course michael comes in and says hey man you need to back away you need to back away and let her live her life george is out here talking about but i want to protect her i want to make sure that no one's coming in life and is going to you know f things up all that kind of stuff which is obviously why they're in a situation here where michael say no 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 you just go away let her live her life and she'll be fine let her be and obviously as you can see right there well Hmm. Because Michael was so close to Georgie, Georgie decides to get up and give Michael exactly what he wants, and that is a reaction. So, in fine form, <laughs> we're now in a situation where legit Georgie decides to push Michael onto the floor. I mean, obviously, from what I saw, it doesn't look like he actually put any hands on him, like as if he punched me, anything like that, but he definitely grips him and definitely put him on the floor, you know what I mean? Just to back him off and whatnot. In fact, we'll watch that clip one more time. <laughs> so of course, just as the screen comes in, to be fair, who knows? Once Georgie had Mike on the floor, you never know. Maybe he had, he had plans to lay in the SmackDown, but uh, that obviously didn't happen because. He became Florin came in, the screen came in, and he obviously backed away. But um, to be honest with you, Michael had this coming because the whole night he just he, he spent the whole night literally digging and digging and digging at Georgie, trying to get underneath his freaking skin. And when you do that for so long, it's gonna eventually bite you in the freaking butt. And that's exactly what's happened to Michael in the situation itself in particular. But despite the fact that Michael is now being put on the floor, either way though, he has been still proven the point that you know Michael's that 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 that, that, that Georgie shouldn't be around Darcy and whatnot because clearly he's got temper issues. I mean, listen, I'm assuming that's one of the points he was trying to make anyway, but it is what it is. But we continue with the rest of it. I mean, to be fair, I actually forgot about the Eddie part where he then threatens Michael as well. I will effing kill you. Can't be saying those kind of things. Like, is he okay? But hey, man, once someone is unhinged, they are truly unhinged. Who does that? You come at me like that, violent and malicious, and you want to destroy my whole You want to be like that? That's not acceptable. Ah, oh, dear Lord, man. <laughs> Don't you just love the whole tough guy um, a persona when the cameras are off? Oh, no, sorry, when the, when, when the person disappeared. Now he's talking about... Wait, <laughs> I've got to show you this next bit here. If you want to fight me, we can take jackets off and we go hand to hand. But at the end of the day, if you come to the wedding, we're going to see what's up. If he comes to the wedding, we're going to see what's up. I mean, listen, man. <laughs> 
Yeah, let's be real. If it comes to the wedding, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna do nada. Let's be real. Let's keep it one hundred. I hate people that have this whole fake tough guy persona. But listen, maybe maybe Michael is a tough guy. Maybe I'm wrong just for judging the book by his cover, or maybe I'm wrong because he literally fed the floor quick and one to three from literally the, the lightest of touches possible. But either way, though, his jacket's ripped. He's upset about it, and uh, if well, if uh, Georgie turns at the wedding, then he's obviously gonna do something about it we shall wait and see <laughs> but anyway we uh, we continue for me i love my wife but this is my rules i'm the husband stacy's supposed to listen to me you know once upon a time women wives were supposed to listen to their husbands right give or take and this was based on the fact that women didn't have the ability to work and even if they did work they didn't really have the ability to earn that much money so really and truly for a woman their role, you know, old school wise was pretty much to be the housewife, to be the mother, you know, basically the one that gives, uh, the one obviously has, gives birth, of course. And the man was the one who's the provider. He was the one that they got to work, bring in all the, all the money, pay the bills, all that kind of stuff. Make sure there, there was a, there, there was a, 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 a roof, food, all that stuff under, on the table, all that kind of stuff, right? Fast forward to where we are today. Today, that stuff doesn't exist. I mean, for some people it does, of course, you know, old school people are still out there. You know what I mean? But uh, in reality, it doesn't necessarily exist for a lot of people because women now have the ability to have their own work, their own jobs, you know, and, and to earn money, earn good money. So for Florence really and truly to sit here and, uh, and th 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 this is basically the backstory of this situation here. Him and Stacey have having an argument about how he would not allow her to have any fun on The Bachelor. He wouldn't allow her to go on a stripper pole, just have a little bit of fun and dance by herself without no strippers, of course. Imagine this, there was no strippers there anyway, you know, and um, the fact is, you know, she's upset that she was in a position where she couldn't really enjoy herself. She couldn't really have the fun that she was supposed to have before a bachelorette party, right? The, the, the fun that was planned by her sister Darcy. So obviously he's, he's obviously saying, no, 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 you can't do none of this stuff, blah, 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 blah. And therefore he comes out with this ridiculous statement of how Stacey is supposed to listen to him because he's the husband. I mean, listen, let me tell you something right now, buddy. You don't provide nothing for this woman. That's the thing. Stacey has no benefit of even being with you. The fact that this guy thinks he can walk into a, a female's life and um, I say female's life, anyone's life, because you never know, he might be bisexual, you know what I mean? That is still a question, right? Mm -hmm. But the fact that he thinks he can walk into anyone's life and not bring any money to the table and not bring anything else to the table that is really going to help that person in any kind of way, really and truly, right? Because let's be honest, he has no personality. He's not helping no one with his humor. You know what I mean? He's not bringing nothing to the table in terms of picking someone up. He can't really pick himself up, right? So for him to say that Stacey should listen to him because he's the husband is the dumbest thing I have, I've ever heard in my life. He needs to not look in the mirror, to be honest with you. He needs to take a plane back to Albania, if you ask me personally, okay, right? And then look in the mirror there and really reflect on his actions. Because to be honest with you, if he looks in the mirror in the States where he's at right now in Miami, he will look in the mirror and say, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the smartest on the wall? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the one that's living life rent free? And we're not talking about rent free in someone's head, like legit rent free. <laughs> that's what he'll be saying, but he's still in that la la land. He needs to go back where none of that stuff is acceptable. But as far as I'm concerned, if you was to go to Abenga, from what I understand, a lot of Abenga men still live in that old school tradition where they will bring the money to the table what he's doing wouldn't be accepting his own bloody countries as far as i know okay as far as i know in his own country he wouldn't even have a wife because he's not bringing enough to the table as far as i know if that's a bit wrong someone can correct me of course but as far as i know so it's interesting how he talks about i was raised this way cultural this but he's not even doing none of his cultural stuff now so does his culture stuff only matter when he's at his homeland Test me with the BS, man. This guy's a fraud, but we continue. Mm -hmm. Cannot be around you. <laughs> Let's just recognize the crocodile tears. This man is crying, allegedly, with no tears whatsoever, talking about how that dude should not be around you. You deserve better. Thank you, Michael. Seriously. I know. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's just hang on to the concept of she deserves a better. And there's a very good reason why I'm telling you to hang on to that. Glad Stacey kind of stood up for herself for, you know, in front of Florian because I see the same kind of traits in Florian sometimes that Georgie has. Right. Wow. I can't believe it's taken him like literally this long to recognize that Florian and Georgie are like to like in certain areas. <laughs> but anyway, we continue. 
I didn't know that everybody else could see Florence controlling behavior, but after he yelled at me and told me I had to respect him because I'm his wife, I'm starting to wonder if the foundation of this relationship is shakier than I thought. No, 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 you're wrong. No, 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 no. Your, your relationship's been perfect this whole time. None of us have ever seen none of these things. Everyone around you is just being delusional. Like, honestly, like, the fact that, you know what? You can't tell me that Stacey was unaware of this. I think Stacey knew this whole time. She knew this whole time, but she was more than happy to avoid it because, well, she just wants to have someone in life, so therefore she can have one over on Darcy. That's just my general opinion. I've said it before and I'll say it again. But the good thing is she's now being vocal about it publicly. So maybe this could be the end of Darcy, you know, of Stacey and Florence. Probably not, but, you know, hmm. we continue. And then um, I called Darcy and we hang out, have a couple of drinks, and um, me and Darcy hook up. I said, hang on to what was said with Michael and Darcy, right? This is why. According to, according to Georgie, him and Darcy have actually hooked up recently. I mean, if you ask me personally, I think it's just a part of a storyline. I don't think it's actually generally true. It could be true, but probably just a part of a storyline. But either way, though, let's just go with the, with the narrative that, yes, this information is true. I mean, if Darcy really did hook up with Georgie like a few weeks back, I mean, to be honest with you, no wonder why his uh, jealousy levels have, have risen. No wonder why when he was in the party dance, he was trying to touch up Darcy while she was obviously on the stripper pole. That part didn't show necessarily, but if you're someone who's a part of Patreon, then you would have seen it anyway, or unless you saw the episode on TLC, whatever. But um, given the fact that this is true, to be honest with you, Darcy's obviously done herself no favors. But here's the thing though, they were both heavily drunk. Now, is that an excuse for this behavior to happen? No, but is this going to be what Darcy's going to use to defend herself and be like, well, yeah, but I was drunk. So, you know, one thing led to another. Oh, here's the thing, we can, she could say that, but why did you respond to him in the first place and agree to go out for drinks in the first place? It's open game after that. At the moment you respond, you go out for drinks with him, it's open game and that's just the bottom line. But to be fair, at the same time, we know that Darcy loves her drink. What if, what if Georgie purposely invited her out for a drink, knowing that Darcy would happily have a drink and then that would be his opportunity to take advantage? You never really know, no, do you know, when people, when people's intentions. Either way, though, this is where we're at, and I guess we'll look forward to next week. But you guys let me know exactly what you're thinking down below in the comment section, and we'll... don't forget to like, sub, and of course,